Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at issue 65. It's right here of the Warhammer 40,000 Conquest magazine. Tomorrow you'll get the review of both of these heroes that include that are included. Uh, as always, the magazine costs £7.99 and it will cost you, what, £32 a month. Let me just unwrap that quickly. And you get a nice large 40 mil base in there like a terminator base because it is a terminator and a 32 mil base there's the sprue we'll have a look at that sprue in a moment um, i think you can still get these two models on games workshop's website for 30 pounds can you believe it so that is a whopping saving even with like a, a 20 percent discount that would cost you 24 pounds i believe so even if they cost you 24 pounds if you could get them from a third party uh, retailer you're saving 16 pounds by getting this uh, magazine. So this more than makes up for the, the very poor issue 64 where you only got the four pounds 75 um, texture paint. So this is a must buy, uh, especially if you haven't got these characters and if you have, then you know it's worth getting them as duplicates, especially for that price. Let's have a look at the issue, then we'll uh, look at the sprue. So Space Marine Terminators, um, you've got the old school uh, Terminator helmet there. Um, a little bit more about them. Corn the Blood God. Uh, awesome looking um, showcase there of the Bloodthirster. And uh, some more as well. So you've got Blood Letters, Possessed uh, Chaos Space Marines, Blood Crushers, Karanak, Hound of Vengeance, and Karna Betrayer, the Tyrannic Wars. And that's pretty much it. So I would have liked to have seen more on Terminators. Uh, you know, and cha chaplains maybe, or priests. Um, it would have been great to see something in cataphracty armor, as that's what this uh, hero has. So how to build them, quite straightforward. You've got Captain 1 and Captain 2. And then that's how they, they end up. Um, the pictures are a bit blurry. I don't know why, why they come out a bit blurry, but there we go. You've got army lists there how to build your army lists, and then you've got an army roster. Uh, mission briefing, lead by example. Uh, coordinated strike, and then you've got the data sheet. So you've got the data sheet for the captain, and then captain in cataphracty armor. What I'm gonna do is uh, find the rules from the um, new Space Marine Codex that came out in September. So even though I'm shooting this in January, uh, these are old. These are old uh, rule sets. They don't have the same rules as um, in the the new codex and the different points cost too and um, they are i think there'll be more points in this uh, the cheaper in the um new codex so that's one of the downsides with this but if you're following this um, subscription you should really have the most up-to-date space marine codex and you should really have uh the most up-to-date um death guard codex uh, to accompany both of these armies because you're going to have quite sizable armies um and that's not including any extras that you, you may want to buy uh, addition to this um, subscription. So then uh, we have a look at the next two issues. 66 has this uh, Plague Marine Icon Bearer, um, which is like a £17.50 model, so that's worth it as well. Then it, issue 67 unfortunately has Scouts again. Um, we've already had Scouts before, but this time you've got them with sniper rifles. Still not bad, but they are pretty old models now. Description itself does still save you money from getting uh, the Scouts uh, separately. Let's have a look at that sprue then. Um, so yes, 30 pounds for this, if you if you went on Games Workshop's uh, web store right now, uh, for two captains. They're not, uh, say, easy to build, they're not push to fit, you're gonna need glue and things, um, but they are only one pose. So if you've already got these two models in the um, uh, set that came out uh, a while ago, it was like the first Horus Heresy set with the Cataphracty Terminators in and things, I can't remember. Um, who the other uh, force was i think it was word bearers i think um but there we go you've got the captain there with this combi melter and then you've got another captain with a power maul and a plasma pistol so yes they are the two captains um fair bit of detail on these yes they're blue plastic but they don't lose that you can always spray them a different color that's fine so there you go um pretty good issue uh the strongest issue in this um set and this set of four uh, that came out in january the 60s um what do you guys think and what do you guys think of these models of course tomorrow you'll get the review of both of these captains and some size comparisons and things 
Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.